Hello everyone, this is, I'm back, Warfare 68 here, where we're going to be playing some Rush 2049 for Midway Architects 3. This is a Dreamcast conversion of this game uh, in this compilation. So, let's look at, see it has the information on the hardware it runs on. And they used the arcade flyers in here. You know what, maybe they should put the Dreamcast manuals in here, why? Because the Dreamcast port is in here. See? Don't you call that false advertising? Look at the, the screens. If you look at the screens right there, you can see right there. Right there and right there. You can tell that's false advertising. It is. Because they're showing their... See, that's the arcade screenshots that they captured. Right here? Hang on. Let me see if I can move down. See? Right there. I don't know if you can see it right there in the middle. That's an RK screenshot of the game. That's not the Dreamcast screenshot. That's that's the RK screenshot of the game. They put in here. That's false advertising. Do you call that? Come on, Midway. Even though you're great, even though you're a great company, but you actually trashed this conversion. You gave us the Dreamcast port. Come on. So anyway, guys, I'm not trying to do I'm not trying to do comic stuff. I'm not trying to be like uh, you know any other YouTube users. Well, uh, I will not. I'm not gonna worry about that cheat those sheets. But it's true. Even Midway knows better, but I don't know why they decided to do this. This is false advertising. When I looked at the IGN videos of Midway Arcade Charters Three, they showed the comp. They showed the actual arcade version. And one of the YouTube users were a little disappointed when they comment on the video. Yeah, I'm a little disappointed too. But it's still the same game, but the version is different. Even though I'm not a fan of pickups, I'm still I'm gonna drive one today. Let's start with red. Red's my favorite. Like red Ferrari. Well Ferrari red or whatever. Whatever I like to say, Red Far Far Red, it's just different. Anyway, this game was released in 1999 in the arcades by Atari Games or Midway Games West, which that's where Atari Games is now called. But until now, Midway Mid Midway Games West is no longer since Midway Games is closed. Now uh, Warner Brothers took over the assets. The game actually includes five tracks. Well. Three tracks and includes two hidden tracks, and then you got um, what I was gonna say. Yeah, and you got um, six cars, but you got two hidden cars, which makes it eight. I used to play the arcade version like several times ago. I think it was back in 2009 or 10. It was in my local mall, and it still was. It's not there anymore, so they took it away. So now. I can't play the arcade version at home. Why? Because first off, they put the Dreamcast port in here, and second of all, they actually put the um, actually never and they never and they never emulate Rush 2049 on main because they don't have they don't they couldn't do the 3D FX Voodoo um, emulation yet. So that's why main did, did not emulate or complete Rush 2049 for main. Well, the engine sounds in this game kind of sound like, uh, I don't know, but you got some engine sounds like from Rush 2, some from California Speed of the N64 version. You got some engine sounds, that's basically some parts, because California Speed on the N64 look like they run on the same game engine. Yeah, I'm not very good with this truck. It's slow. When I slow, it's just I'm not really used to it. I'm used to a sports car, so let's do a sports car. Now you got several cars in here. I didn't unlock all of them, but this is so far I got. Yeah. I like this one. Let's do something that's I love this car right here. The car resembles as a um, McLaren F1 British sports car, which 
I love the car. It's amazing. That doesn't mean I still I still don't like Ferrari. I still like Ferraris. I like exotic cars. I don't matter. It don't matter which one I like. I don't care if it was a Bugatti or whatever. I like it so. The um, it was ported to the Dreamcast in 2000 by Midway, and the N64 too as well. And plus, there's the Game Boy Color version. The Dreamcast version has got to be one of the best versions. Then yes, N64 version is not kind of like arcade perfect because since the graphics, even though it's a fifth generation console, it doesn't do 128 bit con um, graphics like this game. Yeah, sports cars like this is easy. Yeah, actually depends on the level. If you change to advanced normal extreme, it depends if you change to which level. All right, so the whole game in here is a futuristic version. It's in your future of San Francisco in 2049. So that's what it is. And uh, you also got several versions. You got special 2049 uh, Terminate Edition. Then you got Special Edition, which was released in 2003. But Rush 2049 is considered one of the last Rush games in the series to, to be in the arcade. Even though Hot Rod Rebels was meant to be in the arcades, but it was canceled. So Rush 2049 was the last game in the arcade to be made by Midway or Atari Games. Or well, Atari Games because the company shut down in 2003 by Mitsupilas, California, I think. Yeah, it was shut down in 2003. The last game was Special Edition, which is an update, which consists of a lot more features than the pre uh, previous versions of Rush. Yeah, as you can see, dude, why there's no coins? I turned the coins off at the screen. So, this had that arcade feel. You know, in the arcades, you don't see how much coins you have. Same thing, you know, you don't get to see where's the coins at. You know, that's why I try to have the arcade feel. That's what it said on the Dreamcast manual that I have of the game. It says if you really want the arcade feel, turn off the coin display. You know, see, I'm doing the art, kind of like the arcade, but I'm not using a steering wheel. Oh crap, he's just going up. It's pretty, um, it's a decent um, version in this compilation, but I prefer the arcade version in here more. Yeah, so, uh, the, um, oh, the whole aspect of this game, uh, is, I like how the way the uh, environment looks. You got, a, a futuristic windmill, futuristic bullet trains, everything futuristic I like in this game. Which makes it really nice. Futuristic buildings, which really has that that feel. The skies look beautiful in this game. The music really fits in perfectly well with this game as well. It has that futuristic techno music, all that stuff. It really fits in well. Yeah, so, um, whoa, that was a good race, right? Yeah. So, um, yeah, so this is a great game, but even though we never get to see its arcade version in here, but it's too bad, but it still runs well, but you got some games that you know that that's not much really well anyway but you got some games that, that never made it you got some games that you know but we hey we got Hydro Thunder looks like the arcade version but it's a Dreamcast port but anyway so I'm a little disappointed with Rush 2049 in here so 
even Rush Do Out, how the way they alter the sound effects, which is not really, I don't really like. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll make some more videos in the future, and see you soon.